Here with head women's soccer coach John Cullen. John, team just finished a 7-1 victory over Reading. Just your overall thoughts on today's match. Um, obviously, we're very, very pleased to win our first preseason game 7-1. Um, you know, when you come away from home and you've got quality international competition, um, and you know, we were one nil down, um, and we, we we conceded an early goal was a bit disappointing. And I think that was just a little bit of lack of organisation. You'd expect that in pre-season, but the response was superb. Um, we literally equalised straight from the kickoff um, to pull it back to one one, and then from that moment on, we we're on the ascendancy. Where we looked very, very good going to goal created numerous chances I mean obviously we've banged in seven goals and probably left another five to six out there so delighted about the goal scoring side of things um, still got work to do as you would expect after the first game of pre-season um, trying to figure out some combinations who plays well alongside each other um, and a lot of young faces um, got their first collegiate game today for us so we're delighted about that um, but we'll we you know go back to training in the next couple of days and uh, prepare for a uh, Ireland and uh, you know we know that would be a tough game but the only disappointment for us today um, is you know we picked up an injury to Katie O'Neill a senior who's, is, who's having a great preseason was having a good game today it looks a bit nasty um, she's gone for x-rays so we're uh, fingers crossed and our thoughts are with her that hopefully it's not too serious but uh, that's the only real concern for us today you know to lose a player in preseason um, would be hugely disappointing but performance wise playing wise result wise lots and lots of positives today. You talked a little bit about the goal distribution. Five different players scored, including four freshmen. Just talk about sharing the ball, getting everybody touches, everybody out that was in uniform was able to play today. Yeah, I mean, I talked about our recruiting class when we brought them in. I said we've added a lot of goal scoring punch to the team this year. Um, Arthur obviously been one of our top top goal scorers for the last couple of seasons, but we wanted to surround her with more players who can score. We've got Megan Green, Sophie Soprell, Julia Grandi, uh, you know players like that who can you know add goals um, and then we get players like Emma Socha back um, you know we've got Sarah Sandberg who came in from Sweden scored her first goal today so lots and lots of positives um, it's great to see that we've got a number of people that can score goals we created a lot of chances today and thankfully we took a lot of them um, and that was one thing we were talking about from the end of last year we were a team that did create lots of chances last year but we're a little bit goal shy you know we'd score one maybe two goals a game but we weren't averaging much more than that you know, to come in and play Reading here today and bang in seven goals, it's a great, great, you know, positive and a plus. And uh, we're hopeful that will that will continue. Defensive end, a lot of changes from last year. Uh, two keepers that haven't seen a whole lot of playing time, but only could see one goal today. Just talk about Anna and Abby in the back. Well, the more game experience we can get both of them, the better they're going to be. Um, they're still very, very young in terms of their collegiate careers. Um, Anna's been with us a couple of years but hasn't played much. Abby's, you know, only had one game for us last year. So they're both competing for the spot. Um, there's definitely some quality moments where you can see that they're going to be good keepers short term and long term. But there's also some, you know, growing pains where, again, they've got to get more experience and more situational things taken care of in terms of communication with the back four distribution um, but it was good to see them both get on the field it was good to see them both kind of have a good day um, they'll be better for it um, but there'll be tougher tests down the road but uh, you know I think the fact that we've got two goalkeepers that can compete for the number one spot and that's still very much open competition is great all right John congrats on the win today and we'll be catching up with you soon on this trip thanks Travis much appreciated